What's up guys, we are still here in New York at Country Critters, one of the most insane fish stores in the entire country. I can't wait to take you guys inside and show you all what we're doing. This is gonna be absolutely insane. A massive shark fish tank. Zebra shark right here. The owner actually told us he would probably only sell this for if somebody offered him about 20 to 25 grand. But he doesn't really want to sell it. He wants to keep it on it's his like hands. pet. I mean, this tank is massive. And then check out this monster fish tank behind me. We got a Luteus Pleco right here chilling. One of the most expensive Pleco that money can buy. A ton of different vampire fish. These are actually the Pyara Armatus that have the insane teeth. As you can see up here, I don't know if we can take a look at it, but they have this wicked looking teeth. We got stingrays down here, and this is just one of their other showpiece tanks with a bunch of pearl stingrays, all fresh water, and a giant pleco in the back right there. So this video is gonna be boom, boom, boom. They have so much crazy stuff. They have also fish that are for sale in the other room. So we're gonna go check that out right now. Literally, there's gonna be at least 200 plus tanks in there. Nate's freaking out right now. He's calling his girlfriend, calling the bank, getting yeah. his money ready to go because this place is just so insane. So unfortunately, I don't have a ton of time today. Our schedule is super packed, but I want to take you guys through all these fish, highlight a few things for you all. I don't get to see this nice of pet stores that often, so it's super cool that I can take you guys and show you all some of these awesome fish. We got a really cool blue-eyed pleca right there, hence the name blue-eyed. Up the top, we got a bunch of golden dorado, albino arowanas. One of my favorites, the parrot fish. Look at that face. Some barracudas. Barbs, and then check this guy out. A massive Jardini arowana. These peacock bass are insane. And then up here, they have one of the largest growing freshwater fish in the entire world. These are baby arapaima. And then they can actually grow three to four foot in the first year, so they're probably only a couple months old. But within a few months, guys, these things will be monsters. Definitely wanna get a bunch of these for the Fish King warehouse for my 8,000 gallon pond. Moving down here, a bunch of other monster fish. We got barbs on top of barbs. We got Lima shovelnose catfish, um, a massive pleco that is beautiful. $1,200 right there. Should we get it? I want it. Let's do it. I just love these guys. Check this out. You put your hands above the tank and they all go crazy for your fingers. Probably one of the cutest fish. Massive pleco back there. Another one of my favorites, a bunch of freshwater stingrays. So these are one of my favorite fish. These are archer fish. There's one right here. There's a bigger one over there. Now these guys are actually sharpshooters. So if I were to put up uh, like a target right here with a piece of shrimp, they'd actually shoot water, come to the water surface, shoot water at the target, and hopefully the prey would drop down. Now in uh, the wildlife, this uh, mechanism is actually used to shoot down insects and then make them fall into the water that, so these fish can eat. All right, now we're talking. We're getting in the monster fish section. Check this out down here. A $2,000 platinum catfish. That guy's sick. Now as we keep coming down here, bro, show them these monsters, Nate. Show them, dude. These are crazy. Who we got? We got some monster grommies right here. Oscars. Oh, and a knife fish. Big knife fish. fish, yeah. All right, guys, after traveling all across New York for me to find these pea puffers, we have finally come across them. Here they are. There's probably you know over 50 to 100 in this tank and these guys are absolutely little balls of cuteness so another thing i want to show you guys this is a thousand dollar platinum archer fish right here maybe it'll turn sideways and you'll see the colors on it literally a thousand dollars for that fish pretty insane and then down here we just got a ton of other fish angel fish tetras i mean it's just it's madness. So we got some small fire eels here. Look at them, they're all bunched together. Awesome. Pretty cool. Bunch of other different fish. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, nano fish aren't my favorite, but I still think they're really pretty. They're fun to look at. Would I buy one? Hell no. But definitely something for everybody here. And this store is just awesome. So make sure to check them out. Link in the description after this. Now we're gonna head over to the saltwater section. So you all some of the sharks they have here, as well as the coral and the other hippo tangs known as the dories. There's all these insane saltwater setups, but one of my favorite things is actually the shark down here. I always want a shark. I always want to do a monster saltwater aquarium. Very, very expensive, 
may need to set up a GoFundMe link if I want to do that. Um, but I think these tanks look just so beautiful. A ton of coral down here. And now we're going to walk down this aisle. There's both sides. There's saltwater over here, saltwater over here. I'm going to walk down this aisle and show you all some of the saltwater fish they got going on. Some of the tangs, beautiful fox face, just a bunch of your saltwater classics. Dude, I bet the Finding Nemo fans right now are just freaking out. We got Nemo right here. We got Dory right here. Absolute classic. Even more Dorys? Holy smokes. These are actually called Blue Hippo Tangs. Their name isn't Dory, but yes, these are all Dorys. Super cool, very, very expensive. A mini Otis grouper. Holy smokes. That's insane, dude. Now, unfortunately, I cannot buy any fish today because I live in Kentucky and I don't think they ship fish. And so I can't get anything, but it is so cool just to come here and check out all their selections, see what kind of other fish stores have to offer because we definitely don't have anything like this in Kentucky, unfortunately. We got Nate here helping us, showing us around too. For those of y'all who don't know Nate, he helps me run Monster Aquatic Fish, my business partner lives here in New York and it's been super cool to see all these awesome fish stores. Unfortunately, I can't buy anything, but we're actually setting up a five gallon tank for Nate. So we're gonna be buying some fish today for him that you'll see in a video after this of his five gallon aquarium that we set up here in New York. So these are actually lion fish and they're actually venomous. So the difference between venomous and poisonous is venomous is deadly or toxic if it stings you, I believe, and poisonous is actually deadly or toxic if you eat it. So these are venomous. They have these really sharp spikes up there. And if you get touched by one of these things or stabbed, you're gonna be in the hospital and a lot of pain. The last thing I wanna show you guys on the saltwater side here is this panther grouper. Now I'm all for monster fish, like I said, and this guy is just beautiful. Look at the spotting, it's like polka dot, got the nice white body with the black spots, and this guy will be a future monster, probably out in that tank out there with that giant shark one day, just because it gets so big. So behind me here is the store's goldfish collection. As you can see, it's massive. But when I look closely, I saw something that's very near and dear to my heart. Check this out. Down in this bottom tank, if you look closely back there, that's a paddlefish. Now these paddlefish, they came from Rodrigo, but they actually originated and were born in Kentucky from the paddlefish farm that we get all our paddlefish from. So it's pretty cool to see the impact that we've had on the hobby. Really cool to see these guys up in New York, all the way from Kentucky. And believe it or not, I think we were actually the first people ever to keep freshwater paddlefish with freshwater stingrays, which was just unbelievable. We have all those videos online documented, so I think we're the first ones. Pretty crazy. As I'm moving down the aisles here, Nate's getting a little emotional. What's going on, man? Yeah, Brad? guys, so check out this Ryukin goldfish. This guy is definitely bigger than the size of my palm or fist. Let's check him out here. So this reminds me of one of my goldfish. Uh, his name was Gump. He unfortunately died of a bladder disease, but rest in peace to Gump, and I really appreciate the Ryukins, and especially the size of this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here at Country Critters. It was insane seeing some of the stuff they had. I literally only showed you all probably 10% of the stuff. There was just so much and we're on a time crunch. So we got somewhere else to go now. Don't forget to comment down below what your favorite fish was in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.